In addition to the homework problems where we ask you to write code to solve a problem, our lessons also include what we call debugging challenges. These are a different type of uh, challenge for you um, that gives you a chance to practice fixing mistakes in programs. So you're gonna make a lot of mistakes as a program. That's totally normal. And when you're learning, making mistakes is a sign that you're learning. If you're not making mistakes, it means you're not learning. You're usually not making mistakes because you're sitting back and watching somebody else rather than actually doing it yourself and trying it. And a lot of people will do that. They'll sit back and watch because it doesn't expose them to those mistakes and they think, oh, it all totally makes sense to me. And you ask them to actually write the program and they have no idea how to do it. So if you are making mistakes, you are learning. If you are not making mistakes, you are not learning. But learning how to fix those mistakes is also really important. You're gonna make tons of small mistakes in your career in software development, software creation, and learning how to fix them quickly is super important. So we created an exercise to help you just learn how to do that thing. So here's an example. This is on the first lesson on uh, Java programming. And you'll see here, so this is, uh, the, so the first thing we provide is we provide a description of the problem, right? In this case, I'm supposed to print hello world. Now there's something wrong with this code. And if I look at it, I can kind of see what the problem is, right? Or maybe you did, maybe it took you a minute, right? Because you're training your eyes. So it was supposed to print hello world. Now, one of the things I want to point out is I can't run the code until I make some change. We know the problem is wrong. We want to see how you would fix it. So in this case, I look really carefully. And what I notice is it doesn't quite say hello world. There's one character that's messed up. So let's change that character. Now you'll see that I can run it and you'll see it works. The cool thing about these problems is we have like tons of them. So you'll see for this problem, we have 473 different versions of this exercise. So let's do another one together. Here's another one. Okay, I'm getting the picture here. So I'm gonna, uh, now I see there's another little mistake. I fixed it. Okay. Oh wait, hold on, it's still not right. Oh yeah, see I forgot the, uh, the exclamation uh, mark. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go on to do another one, right? This one approached the problem a little bit differently. It saved the string first and then printed it. And in this case, you'll see that instead of a, an O, it's a zero. It's a very easy mistake to make. They look pretty similar. Okay, I fixed that one. I'm gonna go on. And I just, and here's a silly one where the person decided to break it up into all the separate characters. So I see, you know, and again, if I look at H, E, L, L, okay, that should be a zero. Uh, let's try that, see if it works, okay. So this is how this works. Just keep going and going. You can do as many of these as you want. If you come to one and you get really stuck, there is this skip button that you can use to advance to the next one. So I might look at this one and, and think, man, I really have no idea what's wrong with this. This is a pretty simple example because this is a very, very simple program. It's the simplest program we'll write in our entire journey together. Once you get to later versions of this type of problem, it may take you several minutes to figure out what the problem is or what change you need to make. If you get really frustrated and you want to move on, use the skip button and we'll show you a different version of the problem. You only get a certain number of skips, so use them carefully. Um, you know, uh, and in general, this is practice for learning how to see and solve small mistakes. And as these get problems get more challenging, it's even better practice at reading code and making changes to it. A lot of times when you get started in software creation, particularly if you're working with other people, you're gonna spend a lot of time not just writing entire programs from scratch, you're gonna spend a lot of time fixing bugs. You know, the customer will report something's wrong with the program, I did this thing and this is what was supposed to happen and this is what did happen. And they're gonna assign that to you, the new junior developer on the team and say, hey, there's a problem and your job is not to rewrite the code, it's to find a place in the existing code where there's a problem and make a small change to fix it. This is great practice for doing that. It also helps train your eyes to see the types of small mistakes in code that can cause problems.